Hi guys, welcome to Davos Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore your drivers using a free program called Double Driver. All right, the first thing you want to do is download Double Driver. Once you've downloaded it, you want to extract the folder. Okay, now you want to open the folder you've just extracted. You're going to run ddexe. Okay, locate your backup. And scan the current system. This is going to present me with all the non Windows drivers to backup. Okay, a lot of these drivers you probably won't need, like that's my Nokia phone, my antivirus. Put my webcam in here and a few other things as well. I can choose to reinstall these later when I actually reinstall the programs, but it's not necessary at the moment. The main things you're going to want to back up is your internet, perhaps your wireless as well, your sound, and your graphics are the most important things you're going to want to back up. Okay, I choose to back up now. I'm going to choose its destination. Alright, I'm going to Choose to back it up on a USB flash drive. Okay, I'm going to leave it as a structured default folder. This whole process should probably take about 10 to 20 minutes at the most. It's pretty quick and simple. Now I can close it down. Now these are all my drivers I've just chosen to back up. This is one method of reinstalling them. Um, this is a second option that I would use as a last resort. If you keep watching the video, I'll show you the method I personally use to restore the drivers. Um, every folder has this install. All you have to do is find the right file, right click on it, and you will be presented with the install option. Um, you might have to search for them, but pretty much, unless you've got a heavily corrupted computer, it will be in here. Hopefully that's not the case. If it is, it doesn't really matter because you've got the names of your drivers and now you can go search for them. Anybody that searched for drivers for the first time will know how hard and time consuming it can be. This can save a whole lot of dramas. Right, now I want to get the program I just downloaded, drag that into my USB flash drive as well. Okay, now you have everything backed up. This is how it would look after I would do a format on this particular computer. Right, the first thing you're going to notice is I don't have a graphics card driver installed. Locate the USB flash drive. You want to run the double driver EXE once again. This time you'll be going for the restore option. It's going to ask you to locate the backup. Okay, I'm going to choose another location because it's on my USB stick. Go 
if by selecting the main folder, you're going to drag all the other subfolders in with it for the same restore. You can do them individually if you like, but this is just as easy. Okay, once you've checked everything, hit restore now. Select OK. This process should take about 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes again. Um, you're going to be given warning signs, not Windows genuine, just hit continue anyway. I've used this program many times, it's never steered me wrong. I completely trust this application. Okay, I now have graphics, sound, and internet. I can either shut the program down or I can go home and make sure everything was successful. Okay, now I'll shut everything down. You're not going to notice anything until you restart your computer. So I'll just eject my USB stick. First thing you're going to notice is the graphics card driver was successful. I also have internet once I connect my internet cable, and I've also got sound. That's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please check out my other videos if you want to learn more. Thanks again, guys.